Hello everybody, this is Wizwar100, you're the viewers, and I'm the vlogger, and this is... This is the, uh... Vlog of what has happened in May. It's a little late because I screwed... There was something wrong with the previous footage that I was recording, uh... On May 30, 31st, but... Here I am doing it again. Well, a few updates too, so that might have also helped. So with that said, let's begin! Videos I have done! Well, I have done the Eternal Champions Quickies video, which if you haven't seen, you're not missing too much because I didn't exactly... I'm not very good at fighting games if you don't already know that. And if I haven't already said that several times, so... That video was just, you know, just what I thought about it. I didn't really go as in-depth or, or be really knowledgeable about it. I just kind of filed my complaints on it, like, oh, what I would have liked to see, what I would have blah 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 and all that stuff, and my, my uh, usual gripes with most retro fighting games, and maybe even today's fighting games, too. But yeah, I made that video, so go check it out. Uh, the final Sunday Showcase video, which uh, was starring the Battletoads game that I own and I very, very much liked. And well, let me think right here. The reason why it stopped, for those of you who Maybe wondering why I stopped it was because, well, it does kind of take a little bit of work to get around doing all of that, um, especially every Sunday and such, and not enough people uh, watch it over my reviews, which, which uh, the, the watching my reviews more over that, I'm totally okay with. I'm actually uh, glad for that. I did enjoy making it, but it was more or less also making it for you guys, so that's why, because otherwise I would have just done an LP on my Let's Play channel, which I'm going on to next. So I'm currently doing the Donkey Kong Country 3 uh, Let's Play on my channel, Wiz Hitman, that you can go watch, where I play through the entire game and doing 100% of it, as opposed to zero effort in it, and not trying to master the game. Hint, hint. But uh, yeah, I've already beaten the game, I'm just on to uploading uh, the videos daily and not all at once, so you know you don't get burned out from watching all of it and just kind of make it episodic-ish to you, or at least the best I can. I have all the video. Some of them I actually need to edit because, you know, there's grinding and backtrack and all that stuff and I did, don't need you guys to see that because it's a waste of time, so it's always, for the most part, usually something uh, new to watch, but if, you know, the commentary was really good, then, you know, we, we, I do go slightly into the backtracking. But I hope you guys will watch it and, yeah, moving on. Plans for next month, or this month of June, uh, let's see, for video-wise, definitely more reviews. There's a certain something that happened at the beginning of May that caused me to not do as much videos and reviews, so I'll explain that much later on, but definitely gonna try, try to do more reviews. Other thing, other implications have gotten kind of in the way, but I'm going to try hard. Sometimes it's just, you know, life's tough, but I'm gonna keep, keep on fighting it. And uh, definitely a new LP, since I just said that DKC3 is already done, because I played it all in one night and 100%ed it. Uh, I'm gonna do a new LP, and I'm gonna say it from my previous attempt at this vlog, is Yoshi's Island. I said Yoshi's Island 2, which does not exist. It's Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. Gonna be, gonna be planning to play that next, because I was playing Yoshi's New Island, and I just, you know, that game is just not... I, I went in expecting a good game because, you know, you know, I like, I love the Yoshi's Island, so I went to play it and just, it did not play that well, it was not as good, it did not play, it just didn't control as well. It was like, you know, I, I regret, I regret that decision. I kind of, someone told me afterwards that, oh, this game kind of sucks, man. And I'm just like, son of a bitch, I could have got, gotten something like, uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. But... I know that Super Mario Galaxy 2 is way cheaper to get than Yoshi's Island, uh, Yoshi's New Island, so that was kind of my logic. So if anything, that's why. Moving on. Nothing much has happened on the patron shoutout, but I'll get just say like thank you to all the previous uh, patrons for helping, uh, Kevin. And well, uh, on to the actual thing of video games. <laughs> games I've got are picked up. Well, let's see. Uh, once again, kind of unexpected, or especially last second-ish, is I actually did get a a couple of games from 
mostly myself and a few from other people. Uh, one of them is... One of the games I got is a reproduction cart of Clock Tower on the Super Nintendo. It's a reproduction cart, as you can see right there. I got this game at Anime North from, from, a, from a group of people from Repo, Repro Games, and I'll post a picture right here. They were basically selling uh, some reproduction cards, fan translations, hacks, and all that stuff, and Clock Tower was one of them. Uh, I got this game for 40 bucks. It was supposed to be 45, but um, they saw how passionate I was about video games because I was explaining like uh, the ins and outs of this game, and it was like, you know what, you like, you know, we can see your, we can see your passion in video games, so we're gonna drop the, the price for you because you're Wizard 100. Maybe not exactly that, but they certainly did if they had some wisdom. So yeah, 40 bucks. Mm. It, it's kind of tough because I know how long this game is and I know how it all plays out and this game is actually very short but despite what I just said I still recommend that if you can get the chance to get a repro card of it because playing it on your actual Super Nintendo it's so different like I don't know why like it's completely different from playing on emulators which was the only way you could have played it unless you lived in Europe or Japan but uh now you don't really have an excuse for it now that they have repro cards of it. I think it's a quite a good idea. Just some games are better for it than not, but I wouldn't necessarily say Clock Tower was one of those games, but I definitely still give it a try because the experience is just really, really different. Okay. But yeah, I kind of bought it more for collection sake, I guess, and maybe in the future play it on my Super Nintendo, which I have. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known, wouldn't have been telling you about the experience I've been having. Of the game. Another game I got, thanks to Ultra J Man and Blonde Guy Gamer, is. If I can get out safely. Dinosaurs for Hire on Genesis. I remember playing this game as a kid at a dentist's office that had video games on it, which was one of the more awesome things in the 90s. Uh, they had a Genesis and they had Dinosaurs for Hire on it, and you know, uh, I, I just really, really enjoyed it. You just. You're a dinosaur, you shoot stuff, you shoot ninjas, you shoot everything. It was so cool. But obviously as a kid, five, six, seven years old or something like that, I I didn't know, I couldn't read, I didn't know what the name was until like much later when Ultra J-Man did an LP of it. Saw it, I was like, that's the game, that's what it was. So then, you know, started looking for it. Had a lot of trouble looking at it, but at Anime North, and thanks to Blondie, he spotted this game at uh, one, of the, one of the dealer tables, and uh, I promptly picked it up. For 20 bucks, this game, and this case, it's really difficult to get that case open, I don't know why, my Battletoads, uh, my Battletoads one was not that difficult to get out, as was probably most, but uh, yeah, the game, if I recall on eBay, it goes for around 12 to 15 dollars, and the case uh, usually goes around for 10, so I, I found the price to be pretty reasonable, so I, I accepted it. It didn't come with a manual, which kind of sucks, but, um, well, I have Dinosaurs for, for Hire, and it plays quite well. Hmm. There were probably other games on that vendor table that I didn't take a look at, but we were scouring it on Sunday, and we have to go somewhere, too. Also at Enemy North, that, uh, Zero Master gave me, because, oh, uh, it's, it's just this thing he does at every conden convention, convention, and, uh, kind of neat and surprising at times. Rogue Warrior on PS3. Um, I'm not entirely sure what to say about it other than, uh, wasn't this a, wasn't this a crappy game or something? I mean, look, you, I mean, look, this game is only, like, that much. I remember seeing this game a lot, I saw the gameplay trailer for it, and it looked generic. But who knows. The one thing I do know is that I'll probably play it later sometime in the future. Uh, these aren't necessarily games, but I got the, I got, uh, I bought two Tomy NES controllers. And I gotta say... For my needs, I really shouldn't have bought it, but, you know, for everyone's regular needs of NES replacement controllers and doing all your regular gameplay of it, it's perfectly fine, perfectly functional, and $10 is not bad at all. But if I had to, but, you know, the reason why I said I wish I didn't buy it, or pay money for it, is because it just doesn't do what I needed to do, like all the tricks and neat little things I could do, and the game that I'm specifically directing it to for the playtesting to see how durable and how well the controllers play out is Battletoads. I know a lot of tricks in that game that require a good controller. Those Tomy controllers, they really don't do the job, okay? They're actually designed differently, but different enough that it affects uh, my gameplay experience of that, but 
Otherwise, they're perfectly functional. I actually took the controllers apart because I've taken apart uh, the original NES controller apart, and the D-pad is actually a little circle, but the D-pad in a Tomy controller is just a cross, so there were some very subtle tricks that you can't do. And the reason they did that is probably for cost efficiency. I can post the picture right here. Uh, the one with the round D-pad is the original, and the cross one is just is the Tomy controller. So if you just need a controller replacement just to play NES games, it's perfectly fine and, you know, there's nothing wrong with it there. But if you needed it to do very specific, like, tricks and stuff, don't buy them. They, they, they're only there for you to play it, not to, to do special acrobatic tricks with it or whatnot. Or air dashing. While at Enemy North, uh, um, me and the River City Gamers met with uh, some game developers that were, that... Uh, did visual novel games and uh, what I'm, and I was and I was talking discussing with them and I got and they um, they sent one of their press steam keys to me and I got fading hearts I booted up and checked it a little but I haven't played it through so I'll have to play it on a, lit a little later so I might do it on stream and just kind of show it through I've also asked them like is it okay if I if there were like spoilers or something as I played through it to, to show show, and they were like, oh, it's perfectly fine. So okay, I'm not holding anything back. So expect like you know a stream where I'm just like playing and testing it out and going through it. And near like the last second, I think I believe I believe after I mean, oh, and I think so too is um, Humble Bundle comes out with a Nintendo Humble Bundle, which uh, I only bought the lowest tier of it that that uh, that was available to me is uh, Guacamelee for my Wii U. I have it on PC from a previous Humble Bundle. Um, that also had Double Dragon Neon. And uh, what was it, what was it, what was it? Uh, Mighty Switch Force, or Mighty Switch Force for 3DS, I got that. That was the main reason why I got it, cause you know, it looks pretty nice. I went and played it and I've been playing it quite a bit. It was, it's kind of a fun puzzle platformer uh, shooter game. And let me see, although I haven't seen any boss fights, they really should have boss fights. Um, or maybe I haven't been to a, or gotten to a boss fight yet, but it's mostly puzzle platforming. And, uh, bro, whoa, Dave, which, which is, I should have checked this up, but it was, it was basically like the Steam game puzzle action, super puzzle action, or super action box or something. It was the exact same game like that, but without guns, and that's kind of... Blame. I know it's. I know it's. Uh, that game is made by the same people that made uh, Nuclear Thrones. I know that. But uh, oh wait, but was it Pixel Piracy? One of the few. But anyways, yeah. Whoa, Dave was just kind of. Uh, I, I can't believe they made a game like that and kind of actually sold it. I can't believe. I can't believe it exists like that when there's a free version of that game, but slightly better on Steam. Yeah, just saying. And that's the end of that, so let's get on to things that I've done, or things that have happened. Well, quite a few things happened during this month, and at the same time, not so much. At the beginning of the month, immediately, immediately, or at least a day after the uh, April vlog, I did something that resulted in my hard drive being formatted. Uh, I was trying to put, I, was, I took my hard drive from my other computer and put it into this current computer also is missing the monitor too, I'll mention that a little bit soon. Uh, I tried to do that to add another terabyte of space. I had a feeling something was going to go wrong because the operating system was still on that other disk. It, it turns out that was the case and it kind of corrupted corrupted and messed up uh, my main disk. So so yeah, I probably could have uh, retrieved all that data and stuff, but whoa, whoop, oh, oh, Smart thinking, why would you ever do that? I mean, it's not like you know someone that can help you with that. And so instead, I just formatted the thing and... Oh my god. So demotivating and it's all completely my fault. But on the positive side of things, uh, I did clean out the hard drive, which I've been meaning to do. Although, it didn't really feel like I did, because I kind of... I think I actually have less space than I originally did, which was seven around almost 800 gigabytes and now it's like slightly less than that because I clean out stuff also I thought I backed up the the on uh, backed up the video material that I was currently working on apparently I didn't but I did back up most of the stuff from the monthly uh, backups gonna do uh, two new things to prevent that in the future back up all the materials as soon as I have it just so I can have a backup of it just in case 
and put my scripts on uh, my Google Drive so, you know, I don't lose it because one of the scripts I was doing, uh, I thought I had the original one, but apparently trying to sync up with the uh, audio clip that I had, it didn't completely match up, so I'm probably going to have to redo the entire thing, and it just, I am really pissed at myself, and it really, it really demotivated me, so hence why the month of May was just not really productive on videos. It also didn't help that Eternal Champions was a fighting game, so that kind of slowed it down, but don't worry, I'm going to have to like just pick myself up and just, you know, start all over again. Just yeah, so you'll notice that if you're watching my previous videos, I had two monitors. Well, my other monitor is kind of acting strange. It works, but it's kind of like, it's making this noise and it's freaking out on me. So, I kind of stopped using it. I'm not entirely sure, but that monitor has been with me for quite a while. So, yeah. Uh, figure out what to do with it. Still functions, just it's making a noise and I don't like it. Uh, I... Beaten. I've officially beaten all three Mario games. Not the original NES one, but the Super All-Star one. Played through Mario 1, 2, 3. Did not play Lost Worlds, but I've beaten them all, gotten to the very end. Number two, I skipped, uh, I used the warps and skipped a lot of the bosses because I just primarily didn't care about that. But three, I went through from start to finish. And one, I accidentally warped warped at a certain point, but other than that, I did get through the end, and I've gotten to see the uh, Super Nintendo ending of that. So that was pretty cool. Go check it out on my uh, channel. It was Hitman. Played a shit ton of Saints Row 2. Not sure if I remember mentioning that in my April vlog, but I'm gonna mention it again. Saints Row 2. Played it a lot. Kind of playing it again, but with cheats on just to use a helicopter and fuck up all the missions. Ah, and I mean, North, I got to finally check out Column 3's uh, multiplayer where you get to play 5 player. And it was pretty sweet. I liked it. I gotta thank Zero Master for giving that opportunity for me to see how it plays out. And in fact, on the uh, Columns 3 box, you can actually see on the back of it, it actually shows the multiplayer, but uh, at the moment it was showing for the 4 player one. So it was, it was kind of cool. And I think, and I think, uh, me and the River City Gamers are the only one with actual footage of this. Because this would be kind of difficult to do on emulators. Yeah, that, that was kind of weird how I said it. On emulators and... Well, I don't know how many people actually own Columns 3 with the uh, multiplayer adapter to actually show it and or record it. But as far as I know, we're the first one to actually show it on the internet, okay? I've tried looking for footage of that online. Did not find it at all. Okay, at least during the time and at this time. But especially during the time I was re reviewing uh, Columns 1 and 3, and you should definitely check that out. Now, I've mentioned Anime North a lot, and that's because that's where I was last weekend. At least uh, the day after Victoria Day. Yeah, after Victoria Day. It was the second to last weekend where it happened instead of at the end of the month, which is what I originally thought it was, and, well, I didn't miss it, so there was that. Uh, but my opinions on this year. It was very fast, it ended way too quickly somehow, and it was kind of... Thanks, watch. And it was kind of average at best, but it wasn't as good as some of the previous years, but it wasn't... But it was better than the worst years of North I've been to. But I gotta say, it had the best weather I've ever had of all the anime, of all the anime North years I've been to, um, at the convention. <laughs> I guess one of the disappointing things is I didn't bump into everyone that I wanted to bump into, but otherwise, it was alright. It just didn't feel like there was, there was a lot of time to do anything. It was very weird. So, yeah, it could have been much better, but it was definitely not as bad. So, with that said, that's the end of this month's uh, vlog on what happened last month in May. I'm Wizworld 100, you're the viewers, and I'm the vlogger. So with that said, stay tuned for more as I work on videos and get back on track, and uh, hope you all enjoy your day. And sorry for the late video, as usual. So, see ya!